and welcome back to Crypto Hulk Show. Oh yeah, we got it right here. Euro Clear, Giro Clear. There's a company called Euro Clear, and they invest in blockchain company. Unannounced blockchain company. G Crypto Hulk. Um, you know what company that is? <laughs> <clears throat> Euroclear invests in blockchain company. Doesn't that sound generic? Ooh, yeah. That's a sleeper title. <clears throat> We're going to go over this. Let me click out of some stuff here. We got Ragnar says hello. Syrian Marshall says good afternoon. <clears throat> in California, it's about 6.30 in the morning. Yes. We're going to go over some stuff. We're going to go over a couple things. First person here was G.O., then T.K. Gotcha, gotcha. Sean Barnes comes in with the 2024 Crypto Explosion membership. Crypto Greek and then Dan Marrero. Dan Marrero. All right. I got my choice of articles here. The Giro Clear, the Giro Clear article. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's go over that one, shall we? Because they're trying to hide stuff, and I like playing the game hide and go seek. <laughs> hide and go seek, right? They try to hide the article, and I go seek to see who the fuck they joined up with. And then I find out, and I tell you. <laughs> uh, these people are mental midgets. Okay, let's start. Euroclear. <clears throat> now, Euroclear invests in a blockchain company. Post Trade Group Euroclear has acquired a stake in Isnes, I Z N E S, a pan European blockchain based network within the asset management market. Sounds rather boring. Not interesting. Okay. But we're going to see also one of the X's that they're partners with. The transaction for which no financial details were disclosed. Listen to this. They made a transaction. Euroclear joined with Isnez. It's a blockchain-based uh, network. Asset management. They're managing assets. Oh, really? And the transaction, there were no financial details disclosed. Oh, I've got some details. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'll figure it out. <clears throat> so the transaction for which no financial details were disclosed adds to Euroclear's other investments in the blockchain and digital technology market. Oh, so they've made other, other investments, huh? Well, we're going to look at that. This is a very short article. <clears throat> These include the 2021 acquisition of digital fund distribution platform MFEX and last year's takeover of private funds digital marketplace Goji. The move is a further example of post trade and market infrastructure providers such as Euroclear adopting blockchain technology to update its capabilities and to remain relevant in the future. It is typically it is typically the established infrastructure players and post-trade groups that are highlighted as under threat from distributed ledger technology designed to remove intermediaries from the processing chain. We are convinced that the mutualization of data 
and further automation of process supported by digital technologies have a real potential to reduce the overall cost of funds distribution, said Felipe Lorenzi, head of product, strategy, and innovation at EuroClear. What EuroClear has realized is that if you don't get with the three X's, you're going down. You're going down. So let's check this out. <clears throat> so that article was just done today. But looky here, not even six months ago, EuroClear is hooked up with the XDC crypto. Imagine that. See, Crypto Hulk will find it. Let me show you right here. So what we're seeing. Well, we're seeing that Ellis Rose became an entry-level membership and Diabetes gave somebody a membership was Henry Maldonado. I remember that name. And then you've got Bill Quackenbush. Thank you for that donation. So what we have is our three. R3 Corda. So, first off, my name's Crypto Hulk. I'm not a financial advisor, not a crypto advisor. None of those things. Don't invest in anything I say or do. Don't even watch this program. Turn it off right meow. So, we've got an October 2023 article. October, so November, December, January, February. Five months ago. Five months ago, R3 Corda powers first digital bond issuance on Euroclear. Oh, damn it, Crypto Hulk. We just read about Euroclear, digital financial market infrastructure. Let's, let, let's look at this really quick. Live market issuance demonstrates the role distributed ledger technology can play in transforming capital markets. Everybody, I know everybody wants to be rich. No fucking uh, joke with that. Um, we're all here for that. But what I want you to see, brand new people, is what is going on. And we're having an evolution in the financial market. That's what's going on. I know you just got into crypto two days ago. And you were told if you get into crypto, you can be rich tomorrow. Okay, great. Um, but that's not going to happen today. <clears throat> Digital SSA bond issued by the World Bank. Oh, the World Bank. <clears throat> well, I'm glad you said that, Crypto Hulk. Let's do something here real quick. World Bank. Let's see. Yeah, the World Bank called Ripple a stable coin. Let me check something here. So we got something from Coinpedia. Let me do a copy paste. Right there. So this ain't a big deal, is it? <clears throat> the World Bank, you know, the bank of the world, calls Ripple's XRP a stable coin. Now, this is interesting. We're looking through an article here. <clears throat> dated like five months ago. It's from R3's website. We're talking about Euroclear and the World Bank's mixed up in this. <clears throat> Citibank is using Ripple's technology. They're listed here as well. And what we have is R3's enterprise distributed ledger technology platform, Corda underpins the first, this is the very first time this has ever happened, 
a live issuance of a digital bond. Now, <clears throat> listen up. I know you invested in crypto two days ago. I know you expected to be rich already. Sorry, not going to happen, okay? <clears throat> I'm, I'm speaking to the children right now. So now the adults. The adults, what are we learning here? There's a company called Euroclear. They manage assets. <clears throat> and five months ago, for the very first time in the world, you have a digital bond. Like, you know, if you buy a bond of a certain company or country or whatever, but now this is the first one that's digital. R3 Corda Platform, X Ripple Partner. They used to be a Ripple Partner. They still use Ripple. Oh, XRP, they still use that. Don't, don't get that one twisted, all right? They fought like hell to, to when, when the marriage between R3 and Ripple um, broke up. R3 fought very hard for the children, okay? One, mil, one billion, actually, one billion children. They fought very hard for that. So <clears throat> in this article, we read, <clears throat> all of a sudden, Euroclear is mixed in. See, in the first article that I read to you about Euroclear purchasing this Inez company or whatever, there's no word of R3 in there, is there? No. And that's how they do this. <clears throat> They're talking about, oh, <clears throat> Euroclear, you know, has to try to find a crypto company to be relevant. Oh, they already know how to be relevant. Because I just showed you right here, five months ago, they became a partner with R3. So that article is meant for you to just read it and right over your head, nothing's important here. Don't look. But that's where Crypto Hulk comes in. I'm here to show you. All the connections. You get a little article about this company called Euroclear, right? That's not a big deal, Crypto Hulk. Euroclear. Why are we reading about Euroclear? What's the title again? Euroclear invests in blockchain company. Well, that's a generic title. If we go down here, and there's this company called called Isness, I-Z-N-E-S. No, that's not a big deal, Crypto Hawk, you know. This article is just a nothing burger. It's got bread, mayonnaise, lettuce, and that's about it. Nothing burger, no meat in there. And they mention that, yeah, Euroclear did something with MFEX, yeah. And a lot of people are going to read this article. Actually, no, they won't, because it's not exciting. Yeah, but then Crypto Hulk pulls up this where, let me look, R3 Corda works with Euroclear for the world's first digital bond. And you're like, oh, well, damn, Crypto Hulk, that's pretty fucking important. The world's first digital bond on R3 with Euroclear. Now, all of a sudden, crypto hulk, this shit's getting kind of important, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> that's just what I wanted to show you here. The World Bank's involved. Oh, that's not a big deal. They just called Ripple a world stablecoin. That's all. Not a big deal. Citibank's involved in this. Oh, that's not a big deal, crypto hulk. Yeah, I know. One of the three biggest banks in the world. That's not a big fucking deal to you. I know. Okay. Got it. Still watching BitBoy, right? Okay. So I'm going to end that article right there. I think we've had enough for that truth bomb in that first article there. Just wanted to show you that um, Mr. Nobody said that's nine. it's 9.45 p.m. where he's at. Patty Jacques. Patty Jacques. Says you were just amazing how you find this information out. Well, you know, from you guys. <clears throat> Mark Swindell says, Good evening from Thailand, massive. And then he says something about BitBoy. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> you didn't think this article was important because you're used to watching BitBoy. I understand. <clears throat> I understand your special ed. I will not make fun of you. Okay. 
Bridge in Baltimore collapsed by a cargo ship. Polly Esther. All right, let me click out of these. You know, let me click out of these non-important stories because I'm not showing rockets right now going to the moon and stuff. Okay, got it, got it. Got it, darling. Uh, next article. Let's go with Swift. We like Swift, don't we? Let me do a copy paste here. Hold on. Don't don't rush me now. I'm gonna lose my fucking composure. All right. Here's your article. Swift, s'il vous plaît. Est-ce que mon no, she, la mademoiselle don't est-ce que mon? Um, Swift is planning to launch. Now, this is definitely not a big deal. I know you get all your hardcore news from BitBoy. Got it, you know? <clears throat> you get all the cutting-edge, deep-dive news from BitBoy. <laughs> what possibly could you want from Crypto Hall? <laughs> <clears throat> Let's talk about Swift. Brand new people. Um, Swift is like only been around 50 years. That's not a big deal. Swift only is the way that every bank in the world sends money to the other banks. Just thought I'd let you know that. <clears throat> Swift is planning a launch. Now, a lot of people out there <clears throat> that watch BitBoy. <clears throat> um, Think that the dollar is going away. <clears throat> a lot of people out there that watch BitBoy think that BRICS, uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, they think that BRICS is going to like take over the world. Mm. Bendito mio. How sad. I believe that dumb shit. <clears throat> Swift runs the world's money. I know it's a messaging platform. You don't need to tell me, Crypto Hulk, but it, it doesn't move money, Crypto Hulk. It is a messaging platform. Oh, thanks for fucking telling me. I, I had no idea. Oh, my God. I love it when these people like send shit like that to me, messaging. Yeah, but Crypto Hulk, you just don't get it. Swift doesn't move money. It's a messaging platform. Oh, thanks for letting me know. I had no fucking idea. For four years, I had no fucking idea. These people that tell me this shit. Crypto Hulk, XRP is not the company. <laughs> it's called Ripple. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Thanks. Hey, after four years, thanks for letting me know. I had no fucking idea. <laughs> <clears throat> when you say Ripple, XRP, Crypto Hulk, um, they're two separate things. They're, they're not the same. Oh. Maybe you should start teaching my show. <laughs> oh, gosh. You got to love people. A little bit of knowledge. They learn like that much, and they know everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's start here. <clears throat> All right. Got to get direct. Focus now. Focus. Swift. You know, the worldwide organization that runs all the money in the world. Not a big deal. SWIFT is planning the launch of a new central bank <clears throat> digital currency platform in the next year to two. Well, Crypto Hulk predicted that in spring of 2025 that uh, crypto should take off by then. Or at least do something. And look right here. Swift's planning on launching a platform in about a year to maybe two. And what's the platform? A CBDC platform. <clears throat> but um, Crypto Hulk, wait, wait, stop, Crypto Hulk. No, 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 Crypto Hulk, stop, stop. Uh, Crypto Hulk, Swift's a messaging platform. Well, according right here, we're looking at a central bank digital currency platform. 
But Crypto Hulk, that's not just a messaging platform. No shit, Sherlock Holmes, the investigator. Did you go to investigator school? Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> oh, my God. Swift is planning the launch of a new central bank digital currency platform next year. Just about the time Crypto Hulk predicted. Crypto is going to pop. Pop, pop. <clears throat> Here's an article. <clears throat> it's written by Mark Jones. Mark Jones, who's Jonesing. It's out of London, England. Global Bank Messaging Network Swift is planning a new platform in the next one to two years to connect the wave of central bank digital currencies now in development. Everybody, let me tell you something. Every country, every country's central bank is going to have a digital currency. Just saying. I know they say, you know, we're, we're, we're looking into it. Oh, <clears throat> you know, privacy is a concern. We're, we're probably not going to have one. Yes, yes, they're going to have one. Every, let me repeat. <clears throat> Every country is going to have a central bank digital currency. It's called slave money. Slave money. Get it right, get it tight. Every country's going to have it. Just letting you know. Hate to spoil the surprise. They tell you they're not going to have one. Oh, everybody's going to have one. Just telling you that. The move, which one, which, the move, which would be one of the most significant yet for the nascent CBDC system, given SWIFT's key role in global banking, is likely to be fine tuned to be to when the major ones are launched, around 90% of the central banks of the world are now exploring digital versions of their currency. Most don't want to be left behind by Bitcoin. Wow. Or other currencies. This is such a fucking joke. I, I love it how they throw in this Bitcoin shit because that's so irrelevant. <clears throat> you would never guess. You watch the news, all they talk about is, oh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dogcoin, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum. The news media is the biggest fraud on the fucking planet. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Swift's head of innovation, Nick Kerrigan, said its latest trial, which took six months, involved 38 member group central banks. 40 central banks of the world tested tokenized assets. <clears throat> it says here, 38 member group of central banks had been one of the largest global collaborations on CBDCs and tokenized assets to date. Everybody, I want you to just hear what they just admitted. Swift just admitted. They had the largest collaboration where 40 countries, 25% of the world's countries tested tokenized assets. Oh, man, that's where we're at now. 25% of the countries, everybody. Now, that's just what they're telling us. Are they lying? Maybe it's 50%. But at least they're now admitting to 25%. One out of four. One out of four countries in the world is using SWIFT to tokenize central bank digital currencies and tokenized assets. It focused on ensuring different countries' CBDCs can all be used together. Are you hearing this? Oh, that's called, um, you know, working together, isn't it? <clears throat> yes. Now. Who makes CBDCs that we know of? Well, we know XRP Ripple does. I haven't heard a lot about Stellar doing that. I've heard a lot about um, retail CBDCs and wholesale from Ripple. That's what I have heard, but I haven't heard haven't heard Stellar mixed up in this a lot. Um, let's see. 
And they keep talking about they have a roadmap they're following in the next one to two years. You know, <clears throat> I don't follow their timelines. <clears throat> timelines mean nothing with these people. They change them all the time. Something comes up, oh, yeah, it's going to take another two more years than we thought. Well, yeah, we thought it was going to be one to two, and now it's three to four. Look, the roadmap shit don't matter. None of that shit matters. <clears throat> Um says here countries such as the Bahamas, Nigeria, Jamaica already have CBDCs up and running. China is well in advanced. China is well advanced with real life trials. Well, yeah, because they have Ripple China. I already gonna know it. Ripple has been in China for like 10, 11 years. Of course, China has a well advanced trial. No other channel has shown you that evidence except uh, Crypto Hall. Um, I think <clears throat> we're going to leave it right there with Swift. Just, yeah, just know this from what we went over. Swift ain't going nowhere. <clears throat> so all these channels, <clears throat> all these channels that tell you, oh, yeah, the, the bricks are doing this, and they're not doing a fucking thing. All right. Huh? Robert Driscoll <clears throat> gave one Crypto Hulk membership to Dennis Fisher. And we got people with blocked messages here. Oh, our uh, Raksha, you know what? Let's report Raksha for terrorism. Yep, there you go. Just reported. Good luck getting your channel back. And left another dumb shit comment. Let's report him again for terrorism. Yeah, definitely won't be getting that channel back anytime soon. Oh, he left another comment. Another terrorist comment. Let's report him for a third time. I have a feeling it's going to be a while before this loser gets his channel back. I'm predicting that. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> oh, we've got a red pill there. Who we? Hold on there, buddy. Let me scroll this back up. Okay, Sean Barnes, welcome to the 2024 Crypto Explosion Level Membership. And we scroll down to Smooth, Smooth 52, a.k.a. Warren L. Welcome to the entry-level memberships. Got Bill Quackenbush, I said earlier. Thank you very much for that donation. <clears throat> Diabetes gave Henry Maldonado, a familiar name, another free membership. Ellis Rose. Welcome to the entry level membership. You got Kitch, <clears throat> Kitch J. Welcome back again. Big Royce drops a fat one. Drops a King Kong donation on the channel. You know, you see stuff like this, new people, and it's like, we're obviously not in competition for this. This is something that we see that we know we're on the right channel, okay? This person's obviously in business of some sort, <clears throat> obviously um, knows a couple things on how to make money, how to run a business, and it's encouraging. We see stuff like that, and it's like these people watch this channel, and they like want this channel to survive. They don't care what the fuck's going on with YouTube. <clears throat> They're going to make this channel successful. Stuff like that. All of you. So, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Thank you very much for that. It's definitely, um, it's encouraging and um, it makes people just press on. When you see stuff like that, it's just hard to explain.
I'm like, yeah, amazing. Okay, another person got reported for leaving. I'm going to say a terrorist comment. There you go. Just had to take out the trash a little bit here. Robert Driscoll gave somebody a membership, Dennis Fisher. Then you got, who's this next person here? J.O. Petri. Oops. LT for the for class. Oh, it's supposed to be, oops, late for class, but they didn't spell like that. I'm trying to figure out what did they write. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks, Crypto Hulk, for the show. I have a feeling I'll need to watch it twice for all the information to sink in. And you got Kurt Scott there. He's got donuts and coffee again. He's got beer and coffee. Mm. The dynamic duo. Hold on there, buddy. All right. <clears throat> I had to report somebody again. They were being naughty. <clears throat> this time they were reported for suicide and injury. Yep, you're going to have a fun time getting the channel back there, buddy. <laughs> All right, next. See, we got the Swift one done. Let's go Apple, United Kingdom. Hold on a minute. Digital wallets are really coming in on the news. Let's start here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do a mini deep dive. I'm going to show you an article that came out a couple days ago. And if you were to read it, you'd probably go to sleep. All right. <laughs> but I'm going to show you how massive this article is. <clears throat> they are going to give you the information and they're going to hide all the connections. That's my job to come in and expose, expose them, not myself. Get in trouble for that in America. Let's find. Okay. Unless you have an OnlyFans, which I don't. Um. Here's the title. You're going to love this one. Came out a couple days ago. The United Kingdom. Now, this is a sleeper article. Just want to let you know you might fall asleep because you'll find nothing interesting in here. <clears throat> Drink some coffee. Don't fall asleep because we're going to go on a mini deep dive and you'll be like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Here's the title. United Kingdom is set for soaring digital wallet adoption. The United Kingdom is telling us almost everybody is going to have a digital wallet. The United Kingdom is approaching a seismic shift in how many people pay with, with digital wallets. It's set to compromise half, listen to this, half of everybody in the United Kingdom within less, within less than couple years from now, <clears throat> by 2027, half the people are going to be using crypto. Now, they want to talk about digital wallets. I know. They're hiding the word crypto. So that's the first thing. Remember, this is a sleeper article. Remember now, they're going to disguise what they're saying. They're going to report the news. Oh, they're definitely going to report the news. <clears throat> but they're going to put it in a way where you're not going to feel compelled to buy crypto. My name's Crypto Hulk. I'm not a financial advisor, not a crypto advisor, none of these things. Don't do anything I say. 
If I tell you to buy something, don't do it. Just slap your hand, say no, bad hand. Don't move that mouse pad to go buy crypto, okay? <clears throat> the United Kingdom is telling us that in roughly a couple of years from now, half the people are going to be buying things using cryptocurrency. Now, that's how the article should be read. But they're not going to read it to you like that because this is a sleeper article, okay? <clears throat> Nobody's going to report on this article. But I'm going to show you all the connections with Ripple, XLM, Amazon, all kinds of good shit. Nobody's going to read this article to you because these dumb people. I was going to say dumb motherfuckers. I didn't want to cuss, but I just did. Um, <clears throat> these dumb motherfuckers aren't going to read you this article because it doesn't have the razzmatazz. You know, it's not showing rockets and shit. It doesn't talk about Elon giving hand signals or none, no shit like that. People aren't seeing that. So it's a sleeper article <clears throat> to them. So let's look here. You know, whatever happens in the United Kingdom is coming to America in about six months. Okay. Now, in the United Kingdom, they're saying, oh, in about two, maybe three, but two years or so from now, half the people are going to be using crypto and they're going to need digital wallets. Okay. This is what's coming. <clears throat> oh, look here. You know who did the report? World Pay. World Pay. Oh shit. Crypto Hulk. Here's where your deep dive starts. Okay. <clears throat> Wait till you see. Oh, look, Apple Pay is right here. Google Pay is right there as well. Well, that leads me. Let me look up something here real quick. Let me see this. Don't go nowhere. Oh, here we go. Here's the article. Hold on. Okay. Let me continue this article. So while digital wallet, here's something I didn't know. <clears throat> while digital wallets first emerged in the late 1990s. Well, that's interesting. The COVID-19 pandemic provided an adoption tipping point with the likes of Apple Pay and Google Pay becoming a go-to payment type for Brits. Now, Apple, let me just show you this one right now. So the article's talking about Apple Pay and Google Pay. Um, it's becoming the go-to payment types. Let's look here. Copy and a paste. I've shown this before. We're going to have a little fun. No other channel has this. I'm going to show you now. When no other channel has. Go to the 19 second mark. 19 second mark there. What do we see, Crypto Hulk? You see a 2014 Ripple Labs page. Nobody has this on the internet except Crypto Hulk. <clears throat> it's a Ripple Labs page. It says, Meet the team. Our team of cryptographers, security experts, distributed network developers. Let's see, who's the first member? Oh, look, it's Apple. Remember how we just talked about Apple Pay? Wow, look, Apple's a first-day customer. Oh, look, Google's right there on that list as well. Google Pay. We talked about Apple Pay and Google Pay. Oh, check it out. Ten years ago, Ripple Partners. Gee, Crypto Hulk, why doesn't anybody else have this information? Uh, is that a trick question? <clears throat> but look here. NASA, the Space Administration, is a Ripple partner. The New York Fed, the National, uh, not going to say security, not going to say agency. Yep. First day, Ripple partner. No other channel has that information, just you. So you can feel special. 
Mama didn't lie to you when she said you were special. <clears throat> so we're talking about digital wallets. We're talking about United Kingdom. We're talking about Apple Pay and Google Pay. I just clearly established the fact that they're Ripple partners from 10 years ago. Now, what's with this World Pay doing a uh, investigation, finding out about everybody's going to be on uh, digital wallets? Let's look now at some deep dive. Now the article is coming alive. Okay, the sleeper article that nobody thought was worth fucking reporting on. That's because these other channels, they don't have any in, in investigative skills. They're just fucking shills selling, selling their goods. <clears throat> look at this article I'm showing you. Oh, look, Crypto Hulk, it's World Pay. Oh, shit. And oh, look, Crypto Hulk, there's an Amazon box. And oh, Crypto Hulk, look. There's a Ripple logo on the Amazon box in front of a World Pay banner. <clears throat> oh, shiznit, Crypto Hulk. How the fuck do you find this stuff? Well, you know, commitment to excellence. That's usually the answer I give to people. <clears throat> Ripple, one step closer to Amazon as the company teams up with World Pay. Oh, oh, Crypto Hulk, you just set it off. You go from sleeper article talking about the UK and digital wallets and, you know, boring stuff like that. <laughs> <clears throat> and then you open up a can of whoop ass and drop down that the boring world pay is linked in with Amazon and Ripple. Holy shiznit. And oh, look, it's 2019. <clears throat> Only like, gee, I don't know, four or five years ago this happened. But wait, there's more. Here is the Amazon page. Let me get to that Amazon page there, buddy. There's the Amazon page. Boy, Jove. And what are we looking at? Amazon Web Service Partner Profile Ripple. <clears throat> so we look at the aws.amazon.com. It talks about RippleNet, XCurrent, XRapid, XVIA, RippleNet use cases, RippleNet partners. Oh, jeez, Crypto Hulk. How the fuck do you find all this stuff? Just wait. Now, just wait. I've got more. Don't go away. Don't. I don't have a commercial showing up here. Wait till you see what I'm about to drop next. It just keeps getting better. No other channel, just Crypto Hulk. Not a big deal, right? Look what we got next. You're not going to believe it. Oh, shit. I just dropped it. <clears throat> we go from a boring World Pay article about in European, no, in the UK. 50% of the wallets are going to be digital. And then we, but we bring in World Pay and link it to Amazon and Ripple and stuff. Oh, looky right here. Stellar. Now we're bringing in Stellar. Oh, look, we're bringing in Circle, USDC. Oh, shit, we're bringing in Visa. Oh, what? We're bringing in MasterCard. We're bringing in the whole fucking world just for you because you're special. Look what Crypto Hulk found. And the word world pay is right there. And they're going to use stable coins. And I just showed you earlier how the World Bank called XRP a stable coin. So now we got the World Bank involved in this shit. Oh, look, there's Hedera. It says here, all running on Hedera HBAR. Do you have HBAR? Because if not, you're fucked. Crypto Hulk, what does that say again? <clears throat> all, that's A-L-L, -L, if you can spell, 
all running on Hedera. That's the HBAR crypto. You need to get that shit. Now, where's the Visa connection, Crypto Hulk? Well, let me show you right there, buddy. We do a copy paste. Because this sleeper article suddenly turned into the fucking King Kong, didn't it? All of a sudden, just like that, Crypto Hulk takes a boring ass article and turns it into a fucking King Kong article with all the connections with like seven of the world's most awesome companies. And that little sleeper article just ain't a sleeper article anymore, is it? Uh, Crypto Hulk, what the fuck did you just do? Well, you know. <clears throat> just had to show you a little something there, buddy. Look at these uh, two Visa articles I gave you. Visa just spent a few years back $1 billion on Ripple technology. J316 calls Hedera a juggernaut. Look at MasterCard. They're all mixed up in the sleep right. You know that little article that's so boring? You know that little article had nothing in it at all? Crypto Hulk, um... How did you turn that article that looked like the Mojave Desert into a Garden of Eden? Uh, is that your question? <laughs> <coughs> Look right here, MasterCard. <coughs> MasterCard partners with Ripple. This was about a year ago, not even quite a year ago, six months ago. MasterCard partners with Ripple. Swipe your debit card to use XRP. I'm showing you all these connections from that sleeper little article to all these fucking connections. Crypto Hulk, I don't know how you do it. There's USD Circle. Circle.com, experience the power of USDC on Stellar. There you go. I just showed you it all. All the important, the biggest credit card companies in the world, <clears throat> the best payment systems of the world are all linked into that tiny little article that most 99% of crypto influencers won't even read that. You know that? 99% of them will not read that shit. <clears throat> Frankie Nimble, welcome to the entry level membership. Let's see here. MK underscore P says, go H bar. Got that right. <laughs> Syrian Marshall says, amazing show, Hulk. Okay. I found this on the web for Marshall Says Amazing Show Hulk. Check it out. I think I said that first name. Siri thought it was Syrian, but it wasn't. So that's what set off the phone here. I got to be careful. <clears throat> the NSA is listening. <laughs> J316 says, because of a variety of reasons, one of which is they're lazy <clears throat> and they don't actually care about their followers. Yes. So right now, um, I'm just showing you a typical Crypto Hulk show. I can take a pound of horse shit and turn it into a pile of diamonds, okay? I can find you an article that on the surface, appears useless. Look, look, we'll just keep it real. 100% of the people on the internet are not going to read that article because there's no rocket ships there. Vitalik Buterin isn't showing his pajamas. No one's going to show that article except yours truly. And then I'm going to show you some boring-ass article and just show you all the superstars that are involved. All the, the the top five to seven 
the top five to seven cryptos or companies <clears throat> are all involved in that article, but you'd have no idea if you read it by yourself. Now, here's what the dumbasses say. Oh, all Crypto Hulk does is read articles. I could do that on my own. Just give me, here's what I, I hear these cocksuckers saying, just give me the title of that article and I can read it by myself. Yes, you can. You can absolutely read the article on your own, but you'll never understand what I understand. That's why I get paid. Because I can find all kinds of shit that you can't, okay? And then you can benefit from all my information to be super fucking rich. That's how this game works, okay? We're not just reading articles. I'm connecting all the fucking dots, deep diving the shit out of articles. And, and when you read, the, when you watch my show, you're like, oh, damn. That's why I have members, okay? <clears throat> Trust and believe. All the XRP shows basically say XRP is going to hit 10, but I don't even care about that shit. Suzuki. Hulk is Inspector Crypto Gadget. <clears throat> so, yeah, Suzuki, you know, it's not just reading an article. It's it's reading an article and then seeing a massive connection that no one else does in that article. That's what I do. And um, <clears throat> so I gave you brand new people some investment opportunities to look at today. You guys have to... Uh, Invest on your own and stuff, but um, I mean, Panera H bar, <clears throat> we kind of like uh blew that one up, didn't we? So that's gonna be something you're gonna really want to consider <clears throat> diversifying into. You might want to diversify diversification into Panera because I just showed you what does the article say? They're all let me see what that article says. Oh, we, we got a back to sing up. All, they are all, that's A-L-L, -L, all running on Hedera. They're all running on Hedera. Just wanted to emphasize that a little tiny bit. Get it right. Okay, that'll be your, uh, <clears throat> that'll be your program for today. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for investing in your future. Thank you for studying here. It's going to make you smarter, more knowledgeable, more prepared. Okay. There, there's no dumb shit on the channel. I don't need to give an opinion. I just show facts. I, sh I deep dive, show you what no other channel shows you. You ultimately have to make a decision <clears throat> on investing in anything that I say. I showed all the connections. I can't do any more. I'm not telling you to buy Hedera or nothing, but there's the evidence right there. All of these will run on Hedera. It's what the article says. It's not Crypto Hawk's opinion. You don't pay me for opinions. You pay me to show you facts. That's how this shit fucking works. I show facts, and you have to think about those and make your own decisions for yourself. That's how the channel's based, okay? An H bar is really cheap, says Dennis H. H bar is cheap at the price. Mark Swindell says, thanks, Hulk. Appreciate it, pal. Great show as always. All right, I'm out here. My name's Crypto Hulk. I don't know if I'll have a PM show today. I'm going to look for news. And if I can find good news, then that'll be. Um, that's what I'll have the show. I'm going to click out.